So settings. These are the minimal settings that you'll need to configure scan power uh, for prep and ship FBA inbound. So all of these settings that we're going to cover apply to the prep and ship section of the app. And you can find those under settings, prep and ship box. So under general, there are just a few options here. Um, most of you will use um, non-metric, but if you're in the UK or EU, you can click this on um, to use metric settings. And then the only other option under general is which product image page you want um, images to click through. And it defaults to the product page on amazon.com. If you wanted to go to the offers page or do nothing, you can select there. So under listing, um, there's a lot of things here that you don't need. So we're going to turn off warehouse mode, talk about that later. Um, generally, you want to send a price feed when creating a listing, but this is only for new listings. So existing listings, whatever price you set or your repricer uses, it's going to be um, what is used and we're not going to change your prices. Uh, force maximum case pack, don't need that. Don't need to provide Amazon with prep instructions unless you're going to uh, let Amazon prep and label things. So that should be off. Uh, show Amazon prep guidance. You only need this on if you have new team members and products that Amazon's uh, prep guidance is always right. So it's not always right. Sometimes something needs a poly bag or more protection. And Amazon may say only that it needs a label. So turn this on. Um, when you're training maybe, but in general, it doesn't need to be on. Um, default box content source, we recommend feeds. You can still use 2D barcodes, but the feed is the most efficient way to pass along information on what's in the shipment to Amazon. And um, if you have expiring products and you forget to put an expiration date on a product, we will let you know before that leaves the warehouse. And so it's very, that's our default. It's the best way to go. Um, pallet utilization, that's a more advanced feature. Um, show hide columns. So this, we want to keep it simple. If you're only selling new condition products, you can turn off condition and turn off condition notes. If you give us your cost and you want to see that in the uh, prep and ship area, turn on cost. Otherwise, you want expires. Source is uh, synonymous with supplier, so that can be off. Uh, price, again, for the most part, um, this is just going to be your listing price, so you can show it or not show it. Rank and storage type, we'll leave those off. Um, check restricted, um, generally we don't need that since most of the products we're listing are already in our inventory. If you're listing items that you've maybe sourced from RA or OA, and there's a chance that it could be restricted or you're gated for that brand, just turn that on. And same for MSQ template. This is all only if you're going to be listing new products and generating an MSQ for them inside scan power. So we'll go to the packing section. Um, I think um, this create a new box after printing a label is useful if you pack um, if you pack mixed SKUs into boxes. Um, and then we have notifications. So, you know, if you're um, someone that has team members with headphones on and maybe you want to alert them in multiple ways, um, you can uh, play notification sound on air. We generally recommend that. Um, automatically archive shipments. So once the shipment leaves um, your warehouse and changes its status to shipped or in transit or receiving or whatnot, we can automatically archive it for you. Um, these others, case packed across boxes. So this is generally not something that you'll need, but turning it on um, will help you if you do end up providing case packed information and generate case packed shipments, but need to split those units across boxes. So I just generally leave it on. Uh, warn if the box weight exceeds. So this is um, is a little bit under Amazon's limit. Maybe 